Hey, well, morning, everybody. Well, this is gonna, this is gonna be kind of a impromptu emergency news flash uh, video here. Um, I, I had just gotten my uh, stream video. It's exporting to YouTube uh, right now. Um, checked out one of Genki Call's videos, and apparently I did, I did the uh, Tower of Doom run totally wrong. Um, but before I continue on, um, like usual, I'm gonna have some mu music going in the background. Simply, if only, if for no other reason, then it was the next up, the next album up in the shuffle playlist, Transylvania Grand Prix. This is the Surf Gnomes. Let me go ahead and get that fired up. So anyway, um, apparently, apparently they kind of hold, they kind of hold this this time around. Um, kind of like the invasion event. You have to have you have to use the uh, Doom band here in this particular case in order to earn double score. I had totally completely forgotten about this during my uh, stream, just force a habit. But I guess it used to go to like stage ten or something like that. But now it goes all the way up to stage sixteen. But in the guild I'm in, we're I don't want to say we're dead, we're a totally dead guild, but we're. We're the kind of guild that's not quite going to get there. So, very much against my better judgment, I went ahead and got the weapon and then got it uh, fully upgraded and stuff. Now, so yeah, but, what, but once again, the way they're doing it these days is you have to have this, you have to use this weapon for the Doom battles, like, you don't have to use it for the regular ones, although, although I've, I've uh, pretty much been using it, just because I don't want to have to switch back and forth between that and the Wilson's Mace. I guess I can kind of show you the, uh, the team that I use is my Rock Band team. So... Kind of do a short demo here. So, yeah, it at least to me, the weapon is pretty much ass. So, like I say, it seems like um, the devs kind of have us over a barrel on this. Because I'm not really going to need the extra magic to all allies and the temporary level and all that. I got Queen Ash. So she already gives two magic. So, but once again, I didn't, I didn't exactly happily and gleefully just jump right in and get the weapon or anything like that. I basically inquiring minds wanted to know. I basically had to pay 400 gems for this, and then I think I had to use a bunch of uh, brown forge scrolls to fully upgrade it again to get to get the most most value out of it. And the extra armor doesn't really mean deadly squat to my team because we're already gonna get a bunch of life anyway just by simply matching brown gems. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, so, so here, let me go ahead and uh, kind of show you what I'm talking about. Oh, wonderful. And a big, a big issue I have with this I don't know if I'll be able to duplicate it. So. It's gonna give everybody one mana. Um, and if your opponent is brown, it's gonna drain some of their mana. So I'll do it again. It should drain some of their mana anyway. Three, two, one. 
Because now, at this point, I'm pretty much going to be one shot in the top two, the bottom two. Maybe, so it's basically an empty slot now. So, um, basically forced to just collect for matches now. With the, with the mace, this battle would have been all but over. I said, I don't know if I'll be able to duplicate this or not. Yeah, I didn't think so. So, there's... I've had a situation come up where where only Queen Ash is up and up and all usable, but the problem is, is uh, she only hits the second or last enemy, and if there's only one enemy left, then it's not gonna hit him at all. So again, it just it's a waste of a slot. So now the battle just kind of drags. See, if I had the mace right now, I could have just started using it to smack them up and get some uh, brown and red gems in the process. So this battle would have been over by now. And so what you're going to get now is... Just uh, an extra doom. Um, double dooms, I guess. But like I like I said, you don't um, you don't have to you don't have to use the weapon on the regular rooms, just on the doom room. But like I said, I. I have been just been using a Doom Band for most of these battles anyway. It just, I constantly switching back and forth gets annoying. So I guess, for all intents and purposes, the new, the Doom weapon, it'll get you, it'll get you double the, double the score, but battles now take twice as long. So the point is moving. Uh, let me record that real quick. Yeah, I got the uh, Terrence World website up. So we 
got it unlocked. I think in the past, uh, the past four floors, they've all been in the same room. This one. So... So now... Something. And yeah, in a situation like this, I mean, maybe not now, but maybe, maybe in higher levels, when enemies start doing a whole lot of skull damage, I'd actually want to keep the entangled guy up here at the top as long as possible. You know, and I don't, I wouldn't want to use, uh, I wouldn't want to use any of these guys because I don't want to knock them back. See, now if I had Bolson's mace, I could have just cherry picked one of the other targets just to keep him up there. Fortunately, and then once again, um, I've had situations where Queen Ash is the only one up. This is the only the only target remaining, meaning her attack isn't gonna hit him at all. The most I can hope for is uh just hitting the uh getting the stars and getting a match, you know. That kind of thing. Again, if I had the mace, this battle would have been over. So instead I ended up having a having to go clucking for matches. Like if I didn't get a if I didn't get anything out of this. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and make this little video about that. Um, once again, this is just this is a, a totally ad lib impromptu video. Um, after seeing Genki Call's video about the whole thing, it totally slipped my mind. So, uh, yeah. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I'll I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.